Hey guys, it's me, Simple Programmer, and today I'm gonna be we're gonna be starting a new series. I'm gonna show you guys how to create a game using Job. So today we're gonna be creating the window and initializing thread. So let's get started. Yeah. Um, so first of all, you need to get yourself an IDE, which just compiles and runs the code, and a JDK, which allows it so you can write the code. So yeah. Um, uh, I'll include the links for those both in the description down below. So, uh, let's do file, new, Java project, and we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm just gonna call it game tutorial, there we go, and ins here we go, inside our source folder is where our classes and code is gonna be going, so I'm just gonna click that, and I'm gonna do new, package, which just increases organization. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm just gonna call it com dot simple programmer dot window. I just said, okay, the company is simple programmer, and the classes in here are gonna be related to the window. So let's finish and let's create a new class, and I'm gonna call it game. And in this method. Which is the first method called old inside when we uh, uh, run the program. Public static void main string of arguments an array of strings and that's it. And uh, I'm gonna create a constructor for our game. Which if you don't know, I'm sure you do. Uh, any uh, when we create an uh, instance of our game class here. Our constructor will be called. So any code inside it will be called. So if you do system dot out, ooh, system dot system dot out dot print line hello world in our constructor. And if you call if you go call our constructor here, as you can see, if we run it. Uh, we get hello world. Yay! So I'm gonna remove that code. And instead, I'm going to create uh, another class here. Gonna call it window. And this is just going to create our window. So I'm going to say class window, okay. And I'm, I'm going to create a constructor, public window. And it's going to take in some parameters. So string title integer width integer height and an instance of our game. So we can use it. And there we go. Now we're gonna make a JFrame, which is basically a window. So JFrame frame is equal to new JFrame. And inside are the parentheses here, we're gonna have our title. And a cool neat trick in Eclipse, if you don't know, is just uh, to import ooh my, to import stuff, you can do control shift O. And there we go. So import java.x.swing.jframe. And title, and that's just gonna set our title for our JFrame. And here, in our game class, we're gonna go back to our game class, we're gonna do public class game extends canvas. This just means uh, you can use the method methods included in the class canvas, which uh, is included in the JDK. Now, canvas, ooh, uh, yeah, it's gonna get a yellow thing here. Just add it, it's just a Java thing. Um, it just says that. Um, that okay. Here in our J frame is the window, and the canvas is the rectangle inside the window which you can draw stuff on. So in here we're gonna do game dot set size, and we can use that because it extends canvas, and that's one of the methods inside canvas. Um, new dimension because it only takes dimensions, width and height. And control shift O to import dimension. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste this two more times. There we go. Dimension height, but instead of preferred size, we're gonna do minimum and here maximum. There we go. And uh, down here we're actually gonna start working with our J frame. So frame, we're gonna make that false. Frame dot add our game. And because game is a uh, um, subclass of canvas, we can uh, get we can we're gonna add our game, and then we're gonna also do 
this one's important frame dot set default close operation j frame dot exit on close without this if you click our X button here uh, it wouldn't actually close the program we do frame dot pack which is just gonna um, set the window to be the size of the canvas oh, the other round frame dot set location relative to no, that just makes it in the that just makes our uh, window in the center. And frame dot set visible true. So now if we run, we should get oh yeah, save. We should get nothing because we never called our uh we never called our constructor our window inside game. So new window. I'm just gonna do our title, I'm just gonna call it game. Uh and our other parameters are um, width and height and gain. So our width, I'm just going to do 800, height 600, and for game, I'm just going to do this because that is what the class is. So now, if we run, we should get our window. There we go. And now I'm going to initialize the thread. So to that we actually need to create thread so private thread thread and uh, down here thread takes uh, uh, you have to create two methods for the thread which are going to be oh, public synchronized void start synchronize you just use it when you're making threads and public synchronize void you guessed it stop Our start method we're gonna do thread is equal to new thread we're gonna add the game inside but this is gonna get an error because we have to let game implement not runnable there we go and we're also gonna get an error up here and I'll come back to that in just a second and we're also gonna do thread dot start and over here I'm just gonna do thread dot no not stop join and it just makes the thread die and we're gonna have to surround that in a try and catch because it can sometimes fail there we go so uh, now uh, this error it's because uh, we implement runnable and that means we have to and it's an, a, a, uh, when you implement something you implement an interface which means you have to have its methods in, its abstract its methods in here so we're gonna implement we're gonna add its method here and there we go I'm just gonna move it up here public void run when we start our thread it calls the run method so in our run method we'll, uh, we'll have our game loop which just makes it so that our game will run um, go as fast as it will we'll, uh, we'll run the same speed in uh, all computers so that's good because we don't want just uh, one player to go at let's say five tiles per second in one computer and a thousand in another computer we don't want that so uh... yeah if you run this now uh... wait in our window class actually we're gonna do game dot start and we should see that nothing is different there we go good that just means we don't have any errors um, so you know what uh, I'm actually gonna get to the game loop today wait actually no I'm not so uh, just a better uh, way to do something in the when creating our window we should make a public static final final means we can't change it integer width and height uh, they're capitalized because that's what you normally do when you create final things. I'm going to say is equal to 800 and height is equal to 600. Now we're just going to plug those in instead of that. Width and height. There we go. And uh, we're also going to do the same thing for titles. So public static final string title is equal to let's say hmm game pre al wait no oh forgot the quotes game 
three dash alpha zero point zero point zero zero point zero point one. There we go. So and let's get plug that in for title now. And there we go. So it should work the exact same now. Um yeah th there we go. Now let me just check uh, how much time we're going. Um only Okay, uh yeah, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Next time we will get to be working on our main game loop and uh we'll also initialize graphics. So I hope you guys had a hope hope you guys learned all of this. Uh you should review over a bit uh, just to get a soak in your head. And goodbye.